Thank you for your question. I never get stuck. There is no such thing. I think it's an illusion. You know, the mental block, we call it. Translation, of course. Uh, it, I, don't, I don't believe it exists. I think your life stagnates and then your art stagnates with it. In order to write books or paint or uh, write music or whatever it is that you do, even if you do mathematics and physics, and it's the same. We all go to the same place to create. It's a place of surrender. I'm not going to go deep into it right now. But um, if you live life and you fulfill or at least fill yourself with new experiences, you always evolve. Um, you just uh, you have things to say. You have things to talk about as you're learning. This incredible amount of learning comes in. And uh, then you, for me, I have to use notes instead of words to explain or express it's a passion you're, you're evolving there's an ancient Greek phrase that goes like this Yerasko ai didaskomenos it means I grow older always being taught I subscribe to that kind of thinking and it's a 3,000 year old saying uh, so I'm never going to stop learning and I'm going to keep going and as long as I, my life is growing then I will have new ways to do music and even take the old music and progress it, move it or blend it or uh, I, you know your, my imagination is the limit it's different than talking when you talk and then you have to go play this I never realized that how different it is when you're using language versus music until I'm standing in front of you like this uh, without a veil that separates us normally. <laughs> That's a great one. Wow. There's no secret. The, the, the way to stay young is to love life, to live it, to be happy. You know, enjoy life. Huh? Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a, you know, my father, and we'll talk about that a little later on, has put this in me. He taught me, do not take life for granted. You must live it to the fullest, every last moment of it. Um, and he made sure he tried and tried again and again and again since I was young. Like, do not sleep walk through life. You got to feel it. And I think uh, what's keeping me young is uh, encouragement from people like you uh, that I really like, that, that, that goes to my, my heart. It's a very, very important piece of music for me. And after I finished playing it, I would sort of take, up, take it apart a little bit and show you the different aspects of the piece of music and what they are saying. Um, I wrote it for my mother. I was trying to capture her personality. It's impossible. Uh, I mean, this a human being is like my mother, is uh, very intricate. See, I use the word is, was. She's been gone for a long time, but she's here with me tonight, she's right here. So, anyway, the song is called Felita. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it for you and then I will do something I've never done before. Um, I managed to, I, I attempted to explain and express different parts of your personality that were uh, dominant or very apparent. I'll play it for you.
I'm telling him, Yanni, take care of Yanni, too, not only music. <laughs> does, he, yeah. does he listen to you? Oh, sometimes. <laughs> he knows him. <laughs> He's doing anything he likes to do. <laughs> Thank you. You know, like I said, there a, a few. I'm just going to take one minute and, and pull the song apart a little bit. Other than you know, the beginning of the song, the main theme is about her, the core. Um, there's a part. This, this. This is tenderness. soul better than my mom. Um, the part where it gets boisterous and it's a major key and it's, uh, it gets loud, it's, uh, it describes his zest for life. She loved life. She just lived it, danced, sang. She loved to sing every night and, and she was alive. It was awesome to have her around. This, this is part right here. <laughs> into the tenderness aspect of it. And at the very end, uh, it is, um, it's, I, I attempted to describe what her love towards me felt like to me. Um, and it's not the word love or agape in Greek, which is unconditional love. It's a specific word called storie. It's, it only means motherly love in Greek, and it's only used for that reason. And it's a, it's a magic word. Um, Softer than a mother's kiss. Thank you. 